Well, I think I've finally used up my uh, tank bag. After almost a year running cross country, leaving it out all the time, seems to have run to the end of its days. Actually lasted pretty good considering the abuse and stuff I put it through, but uh, after a year now, started cracking a little bit, and then uh, when I was running it up north this winter, got down to uh, freezing temperatures, and when I opened it up, just kind of cracked, and once that's done, this whole top compartment is no longer waterproofed. Fortunately, I uh, yanked the tab off of this side using it. For the most part, these are good. Somehow I broke the middle of this tab. I'm not sure how that happened. But for the most part, it still is a tank bed and it still does the job, but I'm just not really totally satisfied it. Uh, I mentioned before I didn't like the way it covered up the uh, the gas cap and I had to pull it off every time. So seeing as I'm getting ready to do a, a few more rallies here in the near future, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I went ahead and replaced it with this Giant Loop Fandango bag. It's roughly the same price. It's an eight liter bag, just like the Harley one's an eight liter bag. But there's one really, really big advantage about this bag over the Harley one. That is this right here. I can refuel without having to pull the bag off the tank. That all by itself makes it worth its while. Now I had giant loose side bags on for the Iron Butt Rally and those things held up amazingly well especially considering me dropping the bike on them, dragging the bike around on them on the side, and all the nonsense there. So, this is made out of the same material. I expect it to last a good long time. Now, the Giant Loop bags are more of a universal fit, so they don't fit as well as the Pan Am bags do. There's a little bit of play back and forth. There's a little bit of a gap here on the sides. But overall, it's fairly secure. The bag has a nice big full-size viewing window right there to put stuff in like directions, maps, things like that. Nice big space here. Zipper bags to put stuff like a remote control or things like that. This access is the top piece in there. As far as the inside of the bag goes, it's a nice big open spot, lots of room. Has dividers in here the dividers can be moved up and down on this so if you want to set your camera in one spot and all the rest of your junk somewhere else you can do that also comes with a uh, big plastic waterproof roll bag that you can put in here that fits this perfect so if you have stuff you really want waterproof go ahead and put it in there and that ought to protect it even if you drop it underwater even though I'm not planning on removing the bag as much as the other one, removing this bag from the tank is fairly easy. There's one zipper. Runs all the way around. Whole thing unzips. Got another little storage pouch under here to put stuff. That stays on the uh, bike the whole time so you don't have to worry about strapping or unstrapping it. This is a soft mountain plate you put on first, so that it didn't quite fit. There's a little bit of play right here. Maybe if I adjust these back straps in a different way, it'll fit better, but it works for me the way it is. There's a big cutout here. You know, it's nice for the Pan America plate, but actually they intend it to be riding a lot more forward, so this won't sit directly on the gas cap if you have a standing up gas pack. When they showed it under sight, they showed the tank mounted all the way forward up here over the gas cap. I don't want that. Harley tank is long enough, it can fit right in this space right here. Clears everything, doesn't interfere with the controls at all. I like it like that. So that's pretty much it. Getting rid of the old Harley tank, going to the giant loop. Looks like the Harley tank should hold a lot more, but it's just the way it is, the highly angled to make it fit the lines of the bike, to make it fit that weird gas tank. It actually is a lot narrower, has a lot more angles in it, and you can't get as much stuff in it. This is blockier, 
square all the way around 100% of the interior space is usable pretty sure this is what I need well that's all for now uh, like I mentioned once I get up with uh, enough followers I think it's supposed to be a thousand followers they open up a new thing where you can ask comments directly and stuff like that so if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to the channel as you can tell it's not a, a very high volume channel so you're not going to get all filled up with uh, notifications and such that's it all for now catch y'all later